when did you first develop a love for sport and, and was it initially cricket or was it sport? So tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, yeah, it was initially cricket because my dad played cricket. So um, we were dragged along to the cricket field from, you know, from when I was a newborn, really. Oh, yeah. um, my mum, my mum did the teas. I had an older brother. So, um, yeah, summers were spent at the cricket field, um, like I say, from 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 a newborn. So, um, yeah, it was very much in the blood already you know my uncle played as well so it was a you know family history with cricket and sport um but equally in the winters i, I played football um with my older brother um and tennis became tennis probably was the one thing i thought women play tennis because i watched wimbledon yes. um and, and i watched steffi graf when i was growing up and martina navrasilova so they were like my role models but cricket was my passion um so yeah, I mean that's how much you know I was just glued to sport um, and and cer certainly more sort of ball sports. My real, I guess the first real opportunity to play the game was at school. Um, I had again very lucky that a teacher that was mad about cricket, um, and we played in what is now called the quick cricket competition um, at school. And my my school was entered into a re you know a county and then a regional. Um, and I was captain of that boys team. There was one other girl, because I think we had to have two girls and, and six boys in the team. And that was the moment I sort of probably got um, noticed. I, I went to a festival. We played at actually Essex County Cricket Ground. So we got to the regional finals and I remember hitting the ball into the river quite a few times. So, <laughs> so I guess I stood out um, and this young, this guy came up to me, he said, um, you're really good, you should be playing further. Um, would you like to come to counter trials? And um, this was for Cambridgeshire. So um, yeah, so that, that was the first moment I thought, oh, I, I can actually play cricket and with the boys. Um, yeah. yeah, and I didn't know girls cricket existed at this point. So I just thought, you know, my way avenue into playing for England was to play in England men's team because that's all I'd seen on TV. <laughs> I, I used to dread, um, like the turning up at a ground and I, and I can still like I've still got that feeling in my stomach when I used to um turn up at a cricket um a, a, a county game and I'd turn up in my you know you could turn up in your sort of school uniform but with your county tie on and because I was obviously very, very obviously I was a girl with you know longer hair and everyone used to just snigger and I used to go to the bartender or someone at the club where where do I get changed they go well why do you need to get changed and so yeah so those those moments I used to dread more than anything. So the actual it was the ordeal of actually getting to the ground. And but once I was out there, it was like I was in my element. Um, yeah. And but it you know it was tough. And and people say to me, how did you get through that? I said it was the desire to want to play cricket mm. that made that feeling like well I've got to go through this to play cricket. So however much I hate it. I love what I do when I get out in the middle. So it was, yeah, it was really, it was really tough, but I, I put a lot of my success down to, to that. And did your um, dad, obviously with his cricket experience, was he able to help coach you through any of those struggles at that time as well? Or? Do you know what the best thing they did was they never, they, they didn't watch much of my county boys cricket because my dad was a farmer and very busy and mum didn't drive. Right. And I actually, I actually think, having to go to those games on my own without hiding behind my parents. Yeah. Again, that was another step that helped me just become tough because I didn't, I couldn't just go to my mum and dad, oh, this is not very nice. And can you go and ask for the toilet? I had to do it all myself. So um, they came to all my sort of women's games as I started going forward because there was a lot of traveling involved with that. But the week games with the boys, yeah, I, I did it all on my own, which, yeah, probably some people will say it was quite cruel, but um, I think I look back on it now and think it was a, an absolute godsend that I did it and uh, I got through it.